Welcome to Everyone's a Millionaire podcast. Can you share some specific strategies or tactics that you have used to increase your income and or your net worth? Sure. Uh, 2012, I bought my first investment property and I was scared to death. We found a, a foreclosed property that was about $90,000. They don't really come around like that much anymore, double D. Uh, but I found this uh, investment property. I'm like, oh, shoot. Okay, bank wants 30% down. So I got to put down 27 grand. And I didn't want to risk $27,000. It seemed asinine to me. Like, uh, what, what if it goes wrong? What if, what if, what if, what if, what if? And I just played the what if game. And it almost froze me into inaction. I think that right now is is the message of where I'm going to get is that inaction is traditionally people's action because they're so afraid of well what if like I don't I don't have parents I don't have a trust fund I don't have a safety net and so I was really worried about those what ifs but I simply knew that real estate was a sound steady investment and so I went in with two other partners and we each put 10 grand in I'm like I'll risk 10 but I'm not going to risk 30 well, I put that 10 grand in and let's fast forward now, uh, next year, uh, or excuse me, in a couple of years, we will own that property outright. Well, we paid 90,000 for the property. It's now worth about $250,000. Uh, it brings in after we pay our mortgage and all our bills, it brings in about $500 a month in net profit. Of course, if the furnace doesn't go out and the shingles don't fall apart and that sort. So there's, there's always the oh craps of the world. But I look at that investment of me being scared and I put in 10 grand, that's going to be worth in a couple of years, literally a net of $250,000. And we're going to get a check for twelve dollars to $1,500 a month thereafter and in perpetuity. And it was just, I had to get off my butt. I had to not sit idly by and I had to actually put some money into play. I will choose real estate over the stock market or crypto or anything else because it is the boring train that goes around the amusement park. It's no big ups, it's no big downs, but it is a predictable steady ride. And that's where I want to put my first investment cash because I need that to win. How am I going to play those other games? I need the steady investment of real estate to win. Man, I love it. And I'm the same way. I'm not interested in crypto or stocks anymore. Oh, you you put some money in crypto, buddy. I get a little, but <laughs> I'm not really interested in, in, in trying to keep investing into it, right? Yep. I That's your play is... money. That's, that's your, I hope this works money. Yeah. And if I lose every dollar of it, then I'm not going to be that upset about it just because it's, yeah, it's yeah. the play money. Right. But, but the, the strategies and the tactics that I heard from, from that answer was, you know, real estate obviously was, is the way in which you're, you're building lots of wealth in, in a lot of different ways, of course, mm -hmm. uh, but not don't have the inaction, right? Just, you gotta, you gotta take some risk and you gotta jump in. So awesome. Yeah. Dave, Dave,